Okay, so um, so last uh, in the last lecture we uh, did this example where we computed marginal distributions or projections onto other variables. Okay, so we're going to suppose in this little example that we have a dartboard, and the center of that dartboard is at x equals y equals zero, and that our dart thrower uh, has a Gaussian distribution of locations where his dart lands. Okay, so the uh, the joint probability distribution for variables x and y, uh, which measure, measure vertical and horizontal displacements from uh, the center of our dartboard, is 1 over 2 pi exponential of minus x squared plus y squared over 2. And uh, what we want to do is to convert this into information about the distribution of distances from the center. Okay, so now we <coughs> have this new variable, q, which is the square root of x squared plus y squared. And what I'm going to show you is how we can actually uh, turn this joint distribution for variables x and y into a distribution for the variable q. Okay, so uh, this is the basic formula for doing that transformation. So I have some function q that takes x and y and gives me the new variable q. Uh, and I'm going to subtract away specific, specific values of that, value, that variable q. Here's my function of x and y. Uh, so I have the function of x and y minus uh, the value that the function should take inside the delta function and multiplied by the joint distribution for the, the two variables at the beginning. And we're going to integrate from minus infinity to infinity on both variables x and y. And when we're done, uh, what we're going to be left with is a function of this constraint q uh, in the delta function. And so, so that's going to give me my uh, projected distribution uh, of the variable q, which in this case is distance from the center of the dartboard. Okay, so let's actually go through and do this. Um, it is uh, not as bad as it might look. Uh, just remember uh, your basic calculus. Okay, so here's the calculation set up. Uh, this is the f of x and y sitting in here. This is 1 over 2 pi, e to the minus x squared, y squared over 2. Uh, we have our delta function. Um, and we have dx dy. So uh, you guys have seen this stuff before. Uh, we're going to introduce polar coordinates. Uh, so we're going to have a, a Jacobian r. Uh, we're going to have dr and d theta. So this is my area uh, differential. Uh, that must be equal to the original area differential once we put the Jacobian in there. And so I'm going to rewrite everything in terms of this new variable r and and of course theta, which is which is irrelevant in this problem. Okay, so I've got. Uh, delta of r minus q, so that's the r, and this is the specific value q. Uh, we have our Jacobian, d theta, dr. Uh, the distribution that we had is e to the minus r squared over 2, and don't forget this 1 over 2 pi is still there. Uh, we just moved it to the outside because it's a constant. Okay, so now the integration limits, instead of going from minus infinity to infinity, they go, uh, r goes from 0 to infinity, and theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so we can really quickly do this theta integral. Uh, there are no dependents on theta inside this thing. So this is just going to give cancellation with the 2 pi that's on the outside and leave us with this integral that, uh, that is an integral over r. So we've got e to the minus r squared over 2 uh, times a, a Dirac delta function, uh, delta of r minus q uh, with my r dr uh, factor. Okay, so doing this integral, remember that uh, any function uh, multiplied by the delta function and then integrated uh, becomes the value of that function uh, at the place where the argument of the delta function becomes zero. So this is this is the argument of the delta function, this r minus q, and it becomes zero when r is equal to q. So what we're going to do is evaluate this integral by just taking the function that it's multiplied by, the function that the delta function is multiplied by, and that's r times e to the minus r squared over two, and replace all the r's with q's. Okay, so Q e to the minus Q squared over 2 is the, uh, is the, the, the distribution or the probability density uh, as a function of distance Q from the center of the dartboard. Okay, so you can go through and you can integrate this thing uh, from 0 to infinity and show that this is actually properly normalized and makes a, uh, a very nice example of doing a, um, a, a joint probability distribution and doing a projection onto a lower dimensional variable uh, to recover a new probability distribution. Okay, so your, your book and many books will call this a marginal probability distribution. Um, I, uh, poisoned by a background in statistical mechanics, 
uh, call this a projection. Okay, so um, till next time. If I can find the uh, place to log out. There we go.